Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to Back Office Teardown Lab. Yes, you can see I'm in the middle of some Xbox controller action again. And uh, I uh, picked up a controller that was um, not screwed together and it basically exploded over my bench. Um, something I did notice though were these interesting button bullet things that people had put in. So if you haven't seen those before, they look like um, the ends of bullets. And what's interesting about them though, if you actually compare them side by side, you can see the actual indentation, which would be the firing pin on them, is in different places. So there's uh, either different mouldings of these, or they uh, retrospectively punch in random uh, firing pin holes. Very strange. Very heavy, though. Really quite heavy. But what I really wanted to show you at the moment was this. I'm going to put this PCB, and this was the one from a hat uh, joy joypad, which had the LEDs messed around with and soldered, things soldered onto here, which I'm going to try to remove that a bit later on. Um, but when I opened up my second pad, I noticed the PCBs were radically different. Look at that. They're quite different uh, PCBs. Although it does have a Microsoft component in each one, so it's not like there's an aftermarket clone, or at least I don't think so. Um, this chip on here says Microsoft X854952-001, and it does have this little PCBA daughter board on there, which I'm guessing is possibly some sort of Bluetooth type controller. And then I looked on this one, it just really only has the single chip, so they've clearly sort of refined the design down to another single Microsoft chip here, which is an X8171 41-002, so definitely a different chip. So I don't know which one is older, basically. So it says Microsoft here on the front. I can see the Microsoft logo. Um, no obvious manufacturing date that I can at least read. I'm going to try to just gingerly take this one out and hopefully not have it explode on me like the other one did because it looks like quite tedious to put them all back together once they've done that. Yeah, there we go. Again, Microsoft oh, 2010, copyright 2010 on here. I can read that right there. Um, yeah, nothing like that on this one at all. Apart from X5, X853210-001 and X854006-003. So it does, well, I don't know. You tell me, guys. You work it out. Please feel free to comment down below. Let me know what these are in terms of their year of manufacture, which is the old one, which is the new one. Again, I'm, I'm going to guess this one's the new one. You tell me if I'm right. Please like my video, click subscribe, and as ever, thank you for watching.